In this tab, the object data tab, if you scroll down, there is something called bevel object here. So if I click here, I can select my reference bevel object, which is circle in this case. As soon as I select, I can see a whole line, uh, a whole path being drawn with the same thickness. I can control the thickness by selecting my object and scaling with S up and down, you know, so it, it really depends how you want it to be. And I'm going to select my path again. And if I come right here, I can use the slider to move and to draw my path to erase or draw my path. So I'm going to do the same thing with the eyes, bevel object, circle, this one as well, bevel object, my reference is circle again. And now I would like to animate these lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start animating. And first of all, I need only 60 frames. So, and I'm going to move to frame number one, select my this path here, the, the, the main outline of the ghost, and I'm going to hover my mouse on, on the start. Well, I should make it I disappear first, you know, so it's one. I'm going to press I. I is to insert keyframe. So now you can see this is yellow, as you know. I'm going to come right here around 60. Actually, let's go to 60 and take the slider all the way back and press I again. So now you can see my path is being animated, right? And I'm going to do the same thing here. So let's say I want to, so one completely disappear, add a keyframe, move right here and add another keyframe. So there you go. I want to do with this next eye, the right one, and let's, let's do it here. Disappear. I, and if I move on, actually let's take it. Yeah. And then I again. So now you can see, I actually have three different objects here and they all have their own animated frames right here. So if I press alt a, I can see the animation in action. This is very, very cool. So what I did next is actually I added um, emissive um, materials. So to, for the eyes, I, I chose this color and for the outline, I chose blue and I've actually increased the strength. And this is for a reason because we want to add this kind of nice foggy effect, like kind of a neon lighting thing in, in the scene. So how can we do that? It's very, very simple. All I did is I actually went into the uh, worlds tab, a uh, world tab, sorry, and came down to volume and I selected volume scatter down here. And then I chose the color that, um, so that what, whatever color it's going to kind of emit and reflect on. And then I chose the density. So usually for me, this density actually worked fine. So you can see if I increase the density, okay, things are going crazy. We don't want to go that way. So. 0 0.04, 0 0.03 actually works, or 0 0.05 for me worked pretty, pretty nice. And in the end, you can see how this, you can see the result yourself. So it starts from a very simple illumination. It illuminates more and more as the whole figure is being drawn. And there you go. So we actually have a very nice little ghosty figure. Um, out of a neon light. All right. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you did like the tutorial. And if you did, please do, do subscribe for more and do follow the Make Indie server on Discord. All right. So I'll be seeing you in the next video.